This is about holding the concertina. I will explain to you how I hold and play the concertina and why. First of all, I play with the next strap. I don't play with the instrument on my knee because I'm inclined to sit slouch a bit and in order to sit up straight and have everything correct it's more difficult for me to play the concertina like that. Besides, I have all the weight in one hand or maybe the other hand depending which side you hold the concertina because you shouldn't play it like this as most people and most books say to you. So I've decided to have the next strap. This is attached on top of the concertina and not on the side because if you have a strap on the side it will always pull inward when you have this strap. So it has to be on the top. I use a thin neck strap and as you can see I can even adjust, I can make it slightly longer and slightly shorter. When I use this sort of neck strap, I always wear a scarf or a collar, because otherwise it cuts in the skin of my neck. But one thing you shouldn't do, never let it hang like this, because that puts all the weight in your neck and you shouldn't have that. The weight should be divided between your hands and actually hardly anything in your neck. It's just for balancing. Again, when you play a note, it balances the instrument, it won't go this. You can hear what it does to the sound when you do it like that. So it helps me to balance it. It also allows me to play with four fingers. And I don't use much pressure on my little finger when I play. Actually, I can play it like this. So that's one point why I do it. Um, also, this way, I can, I'm able to play standing up. It's the same position as I have now where I'm sitting. My spine is, my back is straight, my spine is straight, I have no funny holes, and I play in a very relaxed way. You know, if you play a scale like this. And you see what I do with the instrument, because I'm holding it up, I can actually move it a little bit to get the effect that I want. Also, in this way, you can practice to play legato while changing your bellows directions. That's what I do and what I have explained in my lesson book, but it's hard probably to understand when it's written down, but this is how it works. You play one note, you play the next note, you change direction. You play the next note, change direction. Etc. Can you hear that? So it's almost legato, even though I changed the bellows, you'll always hear something, but it's like playing or bowing rather on the violin, where they change direction when they when come to the end of the bow. So that's one the aspect. Also, it will help you not to get any problems with your hands. Maybe you can imagine, again, when you play it, holding it like that. I see a lot of people at the end of the day when they have played a lot like this who shake their hands because they feel stiff. Now your hands should be entirely loose so what I do is I make sure my thumb doesn't go through the loop and as far as my bone that I can bend my thumb. Can you see that? And I move it, can move it all the way up there underneath there to play all the buttons. 
If I was to go through further, it gets harder to get down there. Same on the, the other side, you see, I can move it all the way around and play everything in very funny positions. But I always come back to normal, what I call normal position. So you have your hands straight, your arms straight, and it's harder to do that there. I find it harder anyway, because again, after a while you'll go like this when you play in a funny position. What I use for material, as I showed to you, I use this one most of the time. But if you find this is putting strain on your neck, you can use something else. I will show you that. Here you can see how I have adjusted a saxophone band to use this. It's a very soft band. I simply cut off the ends which come together for the saxophone in a strap. And I've, with some creative needlework, I've attached this strap and made it the same way as the other one, with the difference that I have this soft neck strap, which helps me to play my baritone in exactly the same way as I do my treble, because this is a baritone. And here I can show you what happens when I actually loosen the thumb strap and my thumb goes through all the way. It's harder for me to balance and move this. I start to feel easily a pain in my thumb or something. It's very hard to get down. I have to move my hand in awkward positions to get there. So it's, it's more tight. And then I've got the same position as the other one. It's much more comfortable. I can easily come back to a normal position and play. My baritone. To attach this neck strap, I have tiny inserts at the top of the concertina. It's a little metal piece with two holes. It goes inside the concertina, one hole, and the top screw there goes through that hole inside. And there's a little hole on the top of the concertina which comes out where I put a little ring, these little hooks, and then of course the next strap. The same on the other side. However, if you have not got this a little insert, there is another possibility. You can have a little leather loop which you put underneath this screw on the top of the concertina. Most concertinas have got this screw because they hold the thumb strap. It's a little leather loop with holes in it which you simply fold through this ring and you screw it again on top of the concertina. Well, this is getting difficult. Now, as I showed you already a little bit, having the concertina that way, I can play any way I like. For example, I can play a tune, a classical tune, and it helps me to move the concertina to make a sentence. And I make a sentence like this because that's how I feel it when I play it. For example, this one. as well. Depends on what you like. As you saw, I changed the bellows, the direction, more often than I did when I played it in a classical way. Maybe I can do something else with it. more often and I probably the result was different in sound 
I'll do it once more and see what happens. different ways to play exactly the same music and how by subtle changes in the movement, in my hands, in my arms, I could change the musical effects. I for myself find that hard to do when I play sitting down with the instrument on my knee. I need this freedom to move. 